Okay, hopefully. Wait, no, no, where's this Spotify? There you go. Okay, so basically, um, when I was making some skeleton army, like uh, some type of necromancer type of item, like summon skeleton that will fight alongside you and stuff like that, it's probably going to be hard since um, you cannot really make the skeleton hit other mobs. But I do find a way around that, okay? I found a way around that very easily. So basically, there you go. Yeah, that this guy will not attack these dude, but when they get close, yeah, it will use wither and spin. I mean, like there is one flaw with this system. Um, this guy is probably unkillable since. These guys, they they do not attack the skeleton. So yeah, basically, yeah. So um, I I do have like an idea. Like the skeleton will lose health over time when they are hitting enemies. So, yeah, I I guess like that that is like the the perfect way to do it. Or else it it will be like very very OP. Go nice, nice, nice reload. Hopefully, it will looks way more cleaner. Yep, it looks way more cleaner this way. And there is a GUI that shows like the amount of skeleton you have currently. Yeah, it's it's a cool item. It's a very cool item. I just need to figure out a way to make this skeleton not too OP. Like they only have 15 hit points. Just like about four attacks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, about four attacks from this dagger, and it's dead. So yeah, the skeleton is weak, but it is like unkillable. Not. It's not like unkillable. It's like mobs do not want to kill the, the skeleton so i'm probably going to find a way to figure that one out and if you guys asking what the heck am i like wh what the heck is this is this thingy like the last time the, the last thingy i worked on is um the the thingy or what is it called um the lff yeah that, that map so basically um that map is a whole mess like I didn't know that if you just learning as you go and do not plan everything from the start, it will be very, very, very confusing. It will be become just this one huge mess. So instead, I'm I'm starting a new project, but this time I have everything planned out. But the thing is, I have a time problem. Um, let me don't save. So basically, every two weeks. I can go back home for two days since I'm in boarding school. Boarding. Yeah. But the thing is, out of these two days, I can only use one day to work on the project since obviously I need to spend time with my beloved family. Family. There you go. That's cute. So, yeah. Ba basically, I have zero time to work on the project. But, like for now, I have finished multiple thingy. The first, the first one is some weapons, the skull staff, amethyst scepter, and rigorous dagger. Which all of this weapon have their own ability. Rigorous dagger give you royal meter. Like every time you hit an enemy five time, your next attack will be increased by six. And then you got amethyst scepter, which just basic gun and then we got skull stuff that summon skeleton the, the thing that I showed in the beginning of the video and I'm trying my best to oh my goodness you, you're not going to yeah I still have a lot of work so you'd have some custom some type of GUI kind of thing to make it look way more beautiful yeah that's that, that's that's cool next we have smithing anvil it's supposed to be smithing table but 
basically you can craft stuff by you know poop and poop yeah I I really do love like the concept of crafting using crafting table but that's gonna took me ages so so now this is gonna do and then after that we also have custom texture which all of this I did it myself like, I am not the best artist okay I am nowhere near a good artist but at, at least I tried okay these are my efforts look at them they looks beautiful and yeah and the drops is also custom texture which looks good and then to the main quote unquote main attraction the soul crystal which if you read the description press Q to cycle between between skid skills god damn it I cannot speak it's almost 3 in the morning man I need sleep so if you drop it yeah it changed the skill basically I was trying to do like the server type of thingy like you can press Q on the thingy and everything will be fine and all of that yeah so this is my take on it and to be honest it's not that bad like for a beginner like me it's not that bad it, it really is isn't that bad in my opinion what else do I make with like in one day time I got armors yeah I only have one armor for now it's night helmet I, I was like testing out if I can use custom texture on armors and apparently you cannot do that this this is supposed to be the thingy yes this is not the most beautiful looking helmet but I try my best so yeah that looks sick um, what else did I make during this one day? Yeah, I, and I also tried the new commander, the slash police thingy, and it is very, it, it's such a cool command, not gonna lie. I also finished the mana system, and the stats system. As you can see, health 20, if I grab some sword and some armor. Now I am holding the sword, my, my strength go up to 7, if I'm not holding it, it go down to 1. Wait a minute, why? Okay, never mind. And then my defense is zero. And once I put some armor on, it will go up. Defense to 20. Very, very cool. And then the mana thingy is your max mana, not your current mana. So yeah, you can increase your base mana. And yeah, I, I, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that within like the next two weeks. So don't worry. It's probably going to take ages to finish this project. But hopefully, um, in two years' time, I will have like a lot of free time. So yeah, let's hope for the best. Hopefully. And I'll see you guys later. Have a nice day, man. Like, really, have a nice day. Wait, how do I... Oh, yeah, I forgot to... Yeah, there you go. I forgot where I put my OBS. Aww.